Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the face change func functionalities in the Boss AI Toolkit. So first off, we have the Terra Boss right here. And if I open it up, you're going to see here he has she has two phases, Warrior 01 and Warrior 02. So for testing purposes, let's just change this. So the trigger is after five seconds, it will change phases. Now, if you go to the sample phases data table, you can see we have a sequence right here. So when Terra enters the second phase, this sequence will play. So let's test that out. After five seconds, it should change. And there you go. Now, this sequence isn't actually present in the level. It, it's created uh, when, the, when the phase is triggered. So as you can see here, we have, we transform Terra. We uh, put her back in here. So if, if, she, if she was moving during the battle, and let's say she was here, she'd return over here because of this transform in the sequence. And if we right click transform here, go to edit section, you can see when finished, it keeps the state, meaning after the sequence is finished playing, she will remain uh, wherever, uh, look what in whatever location the sequence finishes. But if you set this one to, let's say, uh, restore state, then she will com come back to, uh, like here, for example, if the, so let's say, for example, we wanted to make her bigger during the second phase, you do that over here, you, you just set her scale to say, twice the size, and we uh, you know, just gets bigger while playing the sequence, and she should be able, like that. Oh, wait. Uh, let's close this right so now if we go here that plays she becomes bigger and now as you can see she keeps that size <laughs> now what if she wanted to like do something else when she changes the phase like add some code now, all we have to do is click on boss behavior, scroll down, and you can see here on phase change and on phase change and events. So if we add those, you can see new phase index. This pertains to the index here in phases. So the second phase is index one. So if we say new phase is equal to one, and let's say we wanted to change the mesh. The, nope, we set skeletal mesh. And let's say we change it to how it's served. Now, obviously the animations won't work because they don't share the same skeleton. So all of these abilities will not play but let's say, let's say you had a mesh that shares the same skeleton with Terra. This is how we would do it. There's five seconds. And as you can see, we have this one. Still moves, but the animations don't work. So yeah, that's how you use the uh, face change events. You can also like disable player control here or do whatever it is you need uh, to do for when the boss changes phases. Uh, on phase change end it is called when uh, when the sequence finishes playing. So that's that. This one is called uh, when the phase is initially triggered. So that's the difference between these two. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful. I'll be making more tutorials 
uh, throughout uh, throughout the month. Uh, so please stay tuned. Cheers.